Welcome to Chatham Manor. Chatham Manor sits on Stratford Heights and overlooks the city of Fredericksburg. Chatham Manor is run by the National Park Service and it's part of the Fredericksburg Battlefield Park. Now the hours vary depending on season. In the summer, it's open most days from nine to five, but in the spring, fall, and winter, the hours do vary. Now the admission to Chatham Manor is free. All you have to do is walk up to the door and go inside. When you enter Chatham Manor, you will be in the hall now this hall is rather large for a house of this time period. And in this hall, you will find the portraits of the two original owners, William Fitzu and his wife, Anne Randolph Fitzu. They are the original owners of Chatham. After looking around the hall, I went into the room that was once the dining room of Chatham. In here, they have a lot of great displays. Above the fireplace is the portrait of James Horrence Lacey. He is the gentleman who owned Chatham during the Civil War. I found this display on all the owners of Chatham Manor quite interesting. And then more information about the original owner, William Fitzu, and a picture of him that is different from the one in the hall. Also, there was a display on the layout of the house drawn in the 1920s. From this, you can see what each room was used for. There is a second floor to the building, but we were not allowed to go up there during our visit. The next room we went into was the butler's pantry. This was a more modern room, probably done in the 1920s. Then we went back and across the hall to the other side of the building to the reception room. In this room, they had a number of displays that we found fascinating to look at. After leaving the reception room, there is a hallway that leads past other rooms with displays and at the end of this hallway is a room that they show the visitor film for Chatham Manor. This is a must see when you visit because it gives the history of the manor. Now back to the morning room that we passed as we were going down the hallway. In this room are more displays and portraits of some of the previous owners. Now let's go back outside and look at the river side of the manor. This was the original front entrance to the manor. And out here we'll talk a little bit about the Civil War history of the manor. The house was used as a headquarters for several of the Union generals during the Civil War. In fact, Abraham Lincoln was once a visitor to Chatham Manor. It was used as a gun position to shell the city of Fredericksburg in 1862. As the battle raged on in Fredericksburg, they turned Chatham Manor into a hospital and they brought wounded men here to try to relieve their wounds and save their lives. It is said that after the battle, 
the floors and walls of Chatham Manor were covered in blood from wounded Union soldiers. They also have a reproduction of a section of the pontoon bridge that the Union Army used to cross the river to attack Fredericksburg. Of course, this is only a small section that would have been needed to cross the river. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our visit to Chatham Manor. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and watch one of these two videos. Thank you.